Hey everyone, Seth Campbell here with a new Segway Says podcast. In this episode, we're going to look at two songs by pretty well-known artists that kind of went under the radar uh, to differing degrees. The first is Hypnotized by Fleetwood Mac, and the second is Book of Liars by Walter Becker. Now, each of these songs, you probably you wouldn't really find on a greatest hits. Hypnotized, you might be more likely to. It's a pre-Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks Fleetwood Mac song. The lineup uh, is Christine McVie, John McVie, and McFleetwood, but it's Bob Welch on lead vocals and guitars, and Bob Weston also on guitars. It was on their 1973 album, Mystery to Me, and it was kind of... It was when they were sort of breaking away from being another British blues band into something more adult contemporary FM rock. And th this song, I mean, it wasn't a big hit per se, but it did get a lot of FM radio play uh, back in the day. And you can still hear it on some, you know, sort of adult contemporary classic stations. It's a song, it's built around a really cool Mick Fleetwood drum pattern that's using triplets as I try to replicate it, it's sort of like... So it's kind of this cycling wave to it. And the chords, for most of the song, are just these two chords cycling back and forth as well. It's C minor, F minor. First, you might be wondering, well, which key is this song actually in? Because it's just kind of going back and forth, and it could be, you know, it could be the emphasis on the F, so five chords of one, or it could be emphasis on the C minor. Uh, they're both minors, necessarily. Uh, the F, so when I say the F, I mean the F minor, but emphasis on the C minor, four, one. And it's really not completely clear until the vocals come in and are really outlining around the C minor. And then there's a little refrain that really solidifies it. The recording has a sort of a gritty Wurlitzer electric piano. I'm using a more Rhodesy sound for the sake of the segue, and I'll explain that in a bit. just C minor and F minor the whole time until you get to this little refrain. That's F minor 7. Seems like a dream. A flat. Got me. And then it's, the chord is, I guess, it's kind of a C minor over G, but it's an implied G. Hypnotized. Of course, Christine McVie with one of her patented uh, high harmonies. Hypnotized. It just ties the whole thing together. It's it's beautiful, beautiful track. Now the funny thing is, the song is actually um, it's one of the when, when Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks first joined the band, um, the album they released was just called Fleetwood Mac. It's be, become known as the White Fleetwood Mac album because there was another album called Fleetwood Mac, and this one has a mostly white cover. It's a black and white picture. Um, and it had a bunch of hits and a bunch of runaway success right away, but, you know, they still didn't have an entirely new catalog of songs. So this was one of the songs from the previous era 
the sort of the Bob Welch era that they brought over and Lindsey Buckingham would sing it and they would usually just do two of the verses and then do like a long jam out and they actually changed the refrain a little bit so instead of F minor 7 A flat for two beats G for two beats or you know C minor over G however you want to interpret it to C minor they went straight to the A flat for four beats instead of the F minor seven. So seems like a dream. And then a, a non-implied, very obvious G7. You got me hypnotized. Seems like a dream. You got me hypnotized. So, you know, a little bit of a harsher sound to it. Um, and I will mention that as it relates to the segue. There's a reason I bring that up, but it, it's um, if you can find it, there's a really cool live recording on the anniversary reissue of the Fleetwood Mac album, the, the white Fleetwood Mac album. Um, when they started doing the anniversary reissues of the sort of the Buckingham Knicks era um, albums, you know, the white Fleetwood Mac album up through Tango Through the Night, most of them have a full live show from the tour. Uh, added on and so there's a lot of really cool performances of songs you don't necessarily hear and there was also a box set release of the early Fleetwood Mac the you know sort of the Bob Welch era from um well and and a bit of the original Peter Green era because I think it's from the album then play on to uh Heroes Are Hard to Find which is the album the last album with Bob Welch and the box set has an included live at the record plant in LA or the record studio or something and there's a great version of this on there as well it's just a really cool song to hear a jam on because it's you know really just sort of a smooth but dark and mysterious Onto Book of Liars. Now, I have this listed as a Walter Becker song because it first appeared on Walter Becker's 1994 solo album, um, 11 Tracks of Whack, uh, which is quite an album title. Um, I know it because Becker performed it with Steely Dan uh, in the 1995 Alive in America album. Um, and they would play it on some of Steely Dan's tours, and it was one of the few songs that Walter Becker would sing. And there's a great version of it, like I said, on the Alive in America album. That's what I know it from. Now, if I were just playing this song on its own, I would probably do normal piano sound, but for the sake of the segue, I have this smoother Rhodes so it's sort of a compromise, because the first song would be a more aggressive Wurlitzer-type sound, and then the second would be piano, but they kind of meet in the middle with this smoother Rhodes. Now, Book of Liars is a little slower than Hypnotized, and we're going to slow Hypnotize down when we do the segue, rather than speed up Book of Liars. I think you'll see why as I start to sing this. Just now, girl, when I can't remember exactly what it was we thought we've had. You know, I work so long and I've come so far to find out you're not always who you say you are. And there's a star in the book of liars by your name. Put a star in the book of liars by your name. I actually want to do the second verse because I just, I love the lyrics of the second verse. Just the imagery that Becker conveys here is spectacular. Listen to this. Santa Claus came home late last night, drunk on Christmas wine. Fell down hard out in the driveway and 
hung his bag out on the laundry line. He's got a Cobra gunship for his golden boy and a Hello Kitty for his pride and joy and a star in his book of liars by your name. Put a silver star in his book of liars by your name. I, I just, I, the imagery of that, of drunk Santa Claus back from his Christmas duties just crashing in the driveway. <laughs> the, the, who, who writes that? That's the thing about both Becker and Fagan with their Steely Dan and, and solo lyrics is they, they're, they're great at, I, I, I've heard them described as, like, for each song, they pretty much write a short story and then take out everything but the very specific details. Uh, and so it becomes kind of hard to understand and ethereal, but you can latch on to the details because they're interesting and they're lyrics that you haven't heard before. So that's a perfect example of that. Now, if you notice, there's kind of a similar two chord back and forth thing going on in both of these songs. Hypnotized has C minor, F minor. It's the same rhythm. Two and and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. It's a swing time pattern. And it's the end of the two is the early jump to the second chord. Now, Book of Liars, it's the same thing. One and two and three and four and one and two. Now, the chords are different. Because in this one, it's A flat major 7, so that's A flat, C, E flat, G, and D flat major 7, which is D flat, F, A flat, C, natural. So, if you notice, the right hand, the three notes it's playing, C, E flat, G, and F, A flat, C, Those are just C minor and F minor triads, which are what we're playing anyway in Hypnotize. So really, all we're doing is changing the note in the left hand. Now the mood of these two songs is different. Uh, I mean, it, it's not incredibly different. Both are on the softer side, but Hypnotized is a little bit... Uh, aggressive isn't really the word, but it kind of leans into the weird and mysterious. Whereas Book of Liars is more just a, you know, shaking your head at, at somebody, you know, just, you know, disappointed in someone, their, their dishonesty and just saying, you know, everybody knows you're just, you're, you can't be trusted. What are you gonna do? And so, I, I personally, I like to do hypnotized first. And when it goes into Book of Liars, it's almost like a sort of an exhalation, a, like a slight release of pressure. Um, and I haven't really found a good way to build it back up to do this the other way or to go back into hypnotize at the end. Now, I'm sure it can be done. Um, if anything, it'd probably be uh, from the bridge of Book of Liars, which is just this instrumental. Uh, 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 uh. It ends on a B major, and you could just go to C minor, F or M minor, but I, I, I don't know. I don't really like it. It doesn't sit cleanly with me, but that's just me. As always, I'm just here to offer ideas. 
um, that you should feel totally free to play with and steal for your own performances. So I like to do Hypnotize into Book of Liars and just end it there. Now, as I said, Book of Liars is a little bit slower and Walter Becker's melody, um, as you can hear, hopefully by the way I was trying to sing it, is it's very lackadaisical. It's kind of meandering, not really locked into a beat. It's kind of just floating freely. And so if you speed it up, that gets a lot harder to do right away. Uh, it just, you, you start tripping over it and you're not delivering it with any nuance. You're just trying to get all of the little, you know, characteristics of it out. So that leaves us two options. One is either to slow hypnotize down just a little bit, which is what I tend to do, or in the course of the segue, you can just gradually decrease the speed. And that's something we've seen before in segues, like between the wheels into world that we live in. Uh, and that's easy enough to do because again, the, the speeds are really similar here. And I'll, I'll show that in a moment. But after the last refrain, seems like a dream. Sometimes I'll throw in the uh, that alternate, the Lindsey Buckingham version. Uh, Seems like a dream got me hypnotized. To like really drive home that it's the last one. Kind of like I talked about with Dust in the Wind in the last episode. Assuming these got released in order, and I can't see any reason they wouldn't. But so now you're on this pattern. What better to do over a two chord loop than a nice little jam as Fleetwood Mac would do. There's even a little uh, vocal line earlier in the song that can be brought back here. some point when you're ready I recommend if you're on piano bringing in this pattern in the right hand here which is actually from Book of Liars but still keeping the C and F in the left hand and what this pattern is is it's E flat G and C so the C minor triad then E flat on the top, and then the F minor triad in the form of an A sharp, or uh, A flat, excuse me, C, F. Then just switch the note in the left hand whenever you're ready. And like I said, I recommend bringing the dynamic down ever so slightly so that it feels like a little Over the course of that is where if you were playing hypnotized at its original speed you could slow it down just a little bit. By and by girl we'll get over things we've done and the things we've said. And there you have it. I hope you'll check these songs out if you haven't heard them especially if you like Fleetwood Mac and Steely Dan. 
uh, because the, these songs deserve to get recognition. And like I said, Hypnotize gets a moderate amount of it, but both of these songs I think are really good and, you know, I wish more people knew them. So I hugely recommend checking them out. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully you've learned something. I'll see you again, hopefully sometime soon.